what have I got for you today? I would say probably one of the most controversial shoe reviews I've done yet. The Cuban Heel. Are they for men? So let's see. Hi everyone, my name's Chris. This is my channel Lifestyle with Chris. So what have I got for you? Um, probably, like I said, one of the most controversial videos or opinions that I've done so far. And the jury's out for me, but I've bought these and I'm gonna wear them. And I'd really like your opinion and your feedback. So let's see. Um, the Cuban heel. Now the Cuban heel is kind of famous uh, around the world. They've definitely picked up some traction, I would say, in the last eight to 12 months. I've seen a lot more retailers stocking them and I've seen a lot more people wearing them actually. And I've seen a lot more places sell out of them. So it looks like they're a possible graduating, rolling trend and definitely something that takes a bit of confidence. But knowing me, like I said, uh, I a big pusher of this, trying not to think too much about others and what they think and just could do whatever the hell you want to do and just enjoy it. As long as you're comfortable, that's the main thing. So, um, Kurt Geiger uh, had a, a Christmas sale on and I got myself some Cuban heels. Uh, let's see what it looks like on the box. Um, size seven. These are the Kurt Geiger Ross boot. Um, they were £168 originally, I think I got them for about £80 in the sale, so half price, thereabouts. Um, real good quality leather boot actually. Um, Kurt Geiger are a well known shoe brand for men and women and they do make some really good quality boots. I would say um, definitely better. I'm a bit of a Clark shoe fan to be honest and what I've noticed over the years, the price of Clarks are coming down they're getting they're getting better but the quality is also reducing as well and i first time i've been to kurt geiger and they remind me of what clark's used to be like so i think if i'm happy with these and i wear them more well, i'm going to make sure i am actually um i'm going to shop a few more uh, times at kurt geiger I'll keep my eye on them anyway because they've definitely got um a different level of quality um and, and that's really important these days Especially with a shoe like this, because it's not a casual shoe, it's definitely a formal shoe. This is definitely a going out shoe, and you can tell by the style of this boot, you know, how pointy it is. This is definitely uh, something of a going out shoe. And I think, you know, men have got to have a good set of go to shoes. Women do that, and you know, why can't men? Uh, the style of this is very plain, uh, just very detailed stitch around the front there, very fine. But it's just a standard plain shoe and this leather is really really good quality really good you can tell from the outside and when you put them on fantastic quality too um coming around to this side um it's got a stitch up the side here uh, very plain on this side so this is the left shoe uh, and coming around the back again just a bog standard plain design really until you come to this side where the zip is now the zip is a nice good quality zip feels good and it opens up, makes it easier to get on. Because these aren't the easiest to get on. You definitely need a shoehorn for these. They're not the easiest boot to get on. And they've got the nice kind of Kurt Geiger motif just at the back here. But throughout that all that quality of leather, even on the inside, it's just fantastic. And that's the big standout about these boots. Apart from the fact that whopping massive big heel. <laughs> and it is noticeable in terms of when you put these boots on, it is definitely noticeable. It makes it a bit difficult to walk in them and it takes a bit of getting used to. And I have to admit, your posture has to change too. It kind of forces you to kind of like stand a bit more awkwardly actually. You do have to kind of shove things in. You definitely have to kind of tuck your bum in and push your shoulders back when you stood in these. Um, maybe that's why the Cuban heel came about to improve posture, I'm not sure, but you definitely have to get used to wearing these. So don't slip these on and expect to go out on a night out. I would wear them around the house the day before and just check them out because that heel is definitely noticeable and it's, it's harder to walk in. Um, and that comes to the controversial opinion really. Is that heel too big for a guy? 
Now, a few people that have followed, you follow me for a while now, you know I'm on the shorter side. Now, that's not the reason I bought these, but I bought these because I wanted to try and see what it's like in a Cuban heel because I think it's a popular trend coming. But if you are on the shorter side and you want to give yourself a few, well, good inch, <laughs> you've definitely got it there uh, if you care about that. But in general, though, on, they look really swish, I feel. Really, really swish. They look good in kind of um, tailored trousers, um, look good in, with jeans. They look good with um, kind of... You see these kind of jogger trousers that you can get now. They look really good with those. Uh, not without the kind of elasticated cuff, kind of straight leg. They look really good with those. And I've got some of them. They look fantastic with it. Leather jacket. You know, you've got that kind of... They remind me of the... I forgot the name of the lead singer of Ray, uh, Razor Light. But he was infamous in these. And good old Harry Styles, you know. He's a, he's a Cuban healer. So the, there's definitely people, famous people still wearing them. Particular look. Probably famous with the indie rockers back then. But... Definitely something that Joel Bloggs can wear as well. And don't be afraid to. They're a very stylish boot. And if you're looking for a, a fantastic quality, stylish boot, I would definitely look towards Kurt Geiger because they make fantastic shoes. Um, if you want to see what the other one's like. There you go. But yeah, all in all, um, I think these are fantastic value for what they are. They're a size 7. Um, with the pointy heel, yeah, they are going to make your feet look a little bit bigger bigger um the size seven fits me well the size six was too small so i think that's in the inherent design that is meant to make your feet look bigger okay so don't worry about that it's just part of the smart shoe okay um and the design of this shoe but really good and let me know what you think let me know what you think of these boots let me know whether you think this is a thing that guys should be wearing in 2020 let me know if you would wear these or you wouldn't wear these or if you think these are actually going to be a big flop or they're actually going to be something that are going to get bigger for men because there's no reason why men shouldn't wear these so yeah if you like what you've seen today uh, please hit that subscribe button if you see if you want to see any of my videos i've got some more shoe reviews i've got some good jacket reviews that uh, throughout my channel keep checking me out and if you want to see my latest content the best way to do is subscribe and hit that notification bell um Thanks again for watching and yeah, hopefully get, I'll see you again soon. Catch you later. Bye.